remarkable that God let praise come through the unattracted woman. Oh, y'all missed it. Life has to get ugly. It's a shame that some of us don't praise till it gets real ugly. Now we want prayer. I need a word. But when it was smooth and you had a job, going to school and got a car, place to live, you was acting real bougie. Y'all ain't talking. But as soon as you heard you got cancer or something, I thank you. Now you want to give birth to Judah. The fourth thing, I know y'all think I'm not keeping my points. But the fourth thing is that those who are real praisers, authentic worshipers that don't care about nobody because you need a miracle, you have a testimony that Leah had. I had to embrace hatred for a few years. Y'all I... See, y'all didn't catch that. You want to get out of a thing, but God said for this season, you're married to this situation. And you're going to stay married to it. Y'all ain't talking to me. Until you give birth to my child. You been there? I've been there too. Every time she lays with her hater. Who is Jacob? Because the Bible said when God saw that Leah was hated. Oh yeah. He opened her womb. But he opened her to give birth to children out of her hater. The best time to shut your enemy's mouth is to be productive while they're all up in your business. Y'all it. I wish God would kill him. I wish God would take him away. I wish they'd never call me again. I wish my baby daddy would just vanish off the earth. But I got to tell three folk the truth. If God does that, then you're out of scripture because he prepares a table in the presence. Oh, y'all, not in the absence. You need haters to be around when this miracle goes down. Y'all, they need to be there. And for folk who are both, the more, the merrier. Look at folk acting deep. All I have is friends. I don't have no haters. I stay to myself. That's a pitiful testimony. You can't be a leader if nobody's following you. If you ain't got no followers, I don't care if they're your haters. Even if a hater following you, you lead and y'all need to. But if nobody's with you, you just a man going for a walk. I need about 15 more minutes of teaching. Y'all just bear in mind. You gotta be a bad somebody to be producing in your worst season. I wish I had eight people. And the truth is, this year ain't been that good. Y'all acting like, but this year has been real funny to a lot of us. And we know it's the promise year. Y'all ain't talking to me. But it seems like every promise is hiding behind a bush. Playing the game. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Sick because y'all scaring me at the river. Let me have a towel. Remarkable. And this, we're going to take a praise break on. But if you ever, I know Pastor Cheryl Brady may have preached it in women who study the Bible and I do about eight women's com conferences a year. But this is one of my favorite little things that I like to throw out at women and see if y'all will take a praise break. But in Judges 21, the Lord tells a group of men called the tribe of Benjamin, all left-handed, skilled at war, never lost a battle. He said, today you're going to get married. They look at the Lord, they say, for real, said, you are supposed to be ex out of this covenant, but today in Judges 21, you are going to get married. He said, now go position yourselves. I'm going to dance for the women. He said, go hide ye behind the bushes. Go hide behind the vineyards and don't peek your head out. Don't, don't raise above the bushes. Am I born y'all? All right, because I can't tell. Yeah, don't raise your head above the bushes. Then he said, the daughters of Shiloh are coming. Shiloh means worship. The daughters who are the center of worship are coming. And they're coming, he said, but do not come from behind the bushes until I tell you. The rule was this, and may three women catch it. The women that dance 
grab ye them and marry them. But those who don't move, leave that booger right where she is. Because when you're a praiser, you're a mover and a shaker. You cannot be sitting there like you and God are twins. The order, the order of God to the Benjamin men was don't you touch the woman that ain't moving. Said, but when they dance, grab ye them. He didn't say grab the fine one, grab the one with the shape. He said, any of them that's dancing, just grab what you can. You better grab her, Brady, even though you got you better grab her again. You better grab her because I told you at the table that your wife was about to get a TV show that's going to go bigger than Oprah Winfrey in the next few years. You better grab her. I know I will. When you grab that praiser, you have grabbed your destiny. That's why when you see a praiser, don't frown. Just grab him and say, hey. Be seated. I've got 12 more minutes of teaching before I preach. I'm going to need help, I tell you. Don't worry about what you hear in your ear. Remarkable. I didn't see Esther. Thank you. I didn't see Esther pray. Don't worry. I didn't see Esther pray in the Bible. I didn't see her speak in tongues. I didn't see her quicken. I see this woman delivering a whole kingdom from a dance. Her uncle Mordecai had to bring back to her attention, you getting too bougie now. Because she said, I don't feel like, he said, the same way that you became queen, the Lord will raise up another. Oh, y'all missed that. He said, you better forget that crown on your head and now you clapping hands and in a place of power and you better go in there and dance before you lose your position. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Then Esther got her shake it back and said, if I perish. Mm. Bless his name. Settle down, settle down. You remember Herodias? You remember Herodias, the lady that was sleeping with King Herod? And John the Baptist is in jail because he exposes their rendezvous. And he says to them, what you're doing is wrong. Well, Herodias cannot marry Herod as long as John the Baptist is alive, so she's trying to devise a plan. I'm, I'm talking to women, but I'm hoping some men get it. She tries to devise a plan to kill him so that she can finish with her, uh, her, her little venture of sin. Front row ain't talking, so I'll talk second row. And what happens is, the king, Herod, you know the Bible, has already signed a decree saying he would never touch John. I am never going to touch him because he's the people's favorite. Oh, y'all, I am not going to touch him, but I'm going to keep prophecy locked up. He still has his gift, but his word is incarcerated. Yo. And now there's a woman who doesn't want that word to come out. So the way she gets something that nobody else was supposed to get is she understood, follow me, the ma mannerism of the king.